Destinations, London, France, could be the middle of Nebraska. Anywhere the hot author du jour happens to reside, you take your camera and you go. This is my daughter Mary. Hi. Oh, Hello. Like her mother. Oh. Hello, Mary. Gordy Rising. Hi, Gordy. Um, Dad said he wanted to see you. So. Okay, tell him I'll be there in a second. Okay. Oh, that's okay. I won't keep you any longer. Touch base with me later this week and we'll seal the deal. Sounds absolutely amazing. So, thank you, Gordy. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah, no, my pleasure. Michael, you want to see me for something? Mary, come have a seat next to me. Let your mother work. Oh, I don't think so, doll. I'm not touching it. What? What do you mean? That darling is not my new book. I'm here today because of this. Okay, does anyone have a copy of this for me to sign? No? What a pity. And what a waste of my time. Session. Michael Ryan's first and hopefully last attempt at literature. This book is not a new beginning, it's a midlife crisis. Far fetched, hard to believe tale. Makes a great gift for enemies and in laws. Ended up being a critic. looking guy you were talking to? Gordy Riser. From Riser's Literary Journal. Is that that little review I was reading you? That was from his magazine. Damn! I wish I knew it was him. Just please would you go to sleep? You're drunk. You have no idea! that I took of you and he offered me a job. 
Doing what? Taking photographs of successful authors around the world. Shut up, I get it. I got it. You suck me dry. Do you leave me like a rat getting off a sinking ship? You know what? Maybe you are not the only person in this house who wants a career, Michael. I'm taking that job. Taking that job? Yes. Christy, what happened? Tonight he was violent, and he... He... He, he fell and cut his head, and I, I am just done. I'm done. I, I cannot take it anymore. He's completely out of control. Oh my God, you poor things. You know that house I was telling you about? It's about an hour and a half away, just outside Hudson County. Three bedrooms, two baths. Has a yard. That sounds perfect. When could we move in? Immediately. Tomorrow would be best. Well, the hospital said that they're going to release him tonight, and he's going to go back to the house. We can't go back there while he's there to get our stuff. Is it that bad? Lizzie, he's going to keep drinking. That is his pattern. That's what he does, and I, with, I'm just not going to risk it. I tell you what. I'll call Joe. He can escort Michael to the station, and they can hold him there until you get your things. Is that even legal? Probably not, but it's one of the perks of having a cop as your older brother. And besides, I got him a great deal in his condo. He owes me one. Christy, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm, I'm a I thought we were a family. Michael, you get alone. Take me down the way.
Okay, I can't let you ladies carry any more stuff. Not when you have neighbors right next door anxious to help out. My son, Kyle. Hi. I'm Ben Lang. Oh, hi, I'm Christy Ryan. This is my daughter, Mary. Hi. Christy, Mary. Well, why don't you ladies mosey on inside and let us do the heavy lifting from here. Well, are you sure? And it's very neighborly of you. It's my pleasure. Come on, boys, sometime before the next ice age. Go. Here, I'll help you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, neighbor, I'd like to invite you to the Lang House for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. I think it'll give you a chance to get to know the neighbors. Well, thank you, Mr. Lang. It's very kind. We start around 7 p.m. We're doing tacos. Mary, what do you think about tacos for dinner? Yes, awesome. Oh, great. Let's have that and eat. Okay. This is for the best, Michael. When we're ready, Mary and I will call and see how you're doing. Please, Michael. Please get some help. Lord, we thank you for this bounty and welcome our new neighbors with an open heart. May they find happiness in their new home. That's all for now, sir. Amen. 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 The Lord's a pretty cool guy, Mary, right? And thank you so much for this hospitality and for helping us today. Come on, what are neighbors for? We have to help each other out. It makes life easier. Yes, it does. So where are you ladies from exactly? I'm thinking out of state. Kyla thinks closer by. Kyle would be right. Holy, save me your victory, pal. Where from exactly? Um, not far. South of here, near Mystic. Mm, it's a nice area. Very fancy. Not often people migrate to uh, here from Mystic. Very features, though. Did you guys lose all your money or something? Kyle, for crying out loud. Actually, Kyle, I, um, I, well, I, I left my husband. So how about you, Kyle? What about me? Oh, well, the mouse here just got himself kicked out of school a while back, and if he doesn't make up his assignments, he's going to be pushing burgers and fries for the rest of his life. It's about the only job you can get without a diploma. Don't worry about that, Dad. Yeah, well, I do worry about it, boy. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Studying is not exactly your strong suit. Well, I can help. You sure? It's a bunch of pointless essays. Yeah, I'm awesome at essays. She is awesome at essays, and, and she's homeschooled, so she could fit you into her schedule. Oh, that's very good. I like it. Pretty, smart, tough. Doesn't pull any punches. Bravo, little lady. She's a pistol, Kyle. And you had better be a very good student. Yeah, I will, Dad. Listen, Christy, I'm so sorry about what Kyle said earlier. Completely out of line. No, it's, it's all right. Don't worry about it. He's young. I was the same when I was his age. Yeah, but you got over it. Well, he will, too. Give him time. He's a teenager. They were born to blurt. <laughs> I'm glad you weren't offended. My last neighbor was a lady who I thought would cry every time I say good morning to her. Well, that may just be your effect on women, Ben. Well, I can't tell if I've just been complimented or uh, insulted. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you, sure. Day, but so far so good. It's only gonna get better. Night, honey. Night. Hey, you? Sorry, it seems like we've been playing phone tag lately. Ugh, I'm trying to close on this townhouse, and the prospective buyer is being a real stickler. How are the new dicks? Uh, Mary and I are doing great. So far, so good. Thank you for the card, by the way. You really did not have to do that. Are you kidding me? It's the least I could do. Hold on, Lizzie. Mary? Um, where are you going? Kyle? Are you going to tell me when you leave the house? Well, it's like right down the street. It doesn't matter. I need to know where you're going. Okay, Mom. Catch you when you get there. Bye! What was that all about? 
Mary has developed a little crush on the neighbor's son, and I'm just keeping tabs on her. Oh, I see. A little worried mother syndrome? Maybe. Hey, with it. I have a date tonight. Really? Yeah, with who? <sighs> Met him on an online dating site. Very original, I know. But guess what I'm going to wear? That dress you got me for my birthday? Oh, show off your cute figure. Flattery will get you everywhere. Listen, I gotta jet in a second, but tell Mary that I said to behave. Yeah, well, wish me luck with that. Bye, have fun tonight. This isn't an essay. A bunch of scribbled notes. Um, well, yeah, that's why I brought you here. I'm not gonna write your paper for you. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's get one thing straight. I'm your tutor, I'm not your servant. You gotta at least try, okay? All right, all right, fine, I'll try, okay? Good. Well, let's get started. We have a lot of work to do. Well, Ben, you have officially christened my new studio. Well, it was a dirty job, but somebody had to do it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah, I wanna use you in my advertising. How long have you been doing this, Christy? Um, since college. I, uh, took pictures of local bands and built a portfolio. Oh, well, you must be good if you can make a life for yourself as an artist. Well, you are witnessing the grand opening of Christy Ryan Freelancer, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> and what did you do in your former life, if I may ask? I worked for my husband. Doing what? Promotional materials, mostly pictures for the book jackets and website, things like that. Oh, did you enjoy it? No. No, I did not. I was never free to do what I wanted to do. Well, you have the studio now, you have the skills, all you need is the clients. Speaking of which, let's do some more shots. All right, only two shots, because I'm driving. You can get that side if you'd like. It's my good side. Bye. Hi, I'm a photographer. I just moved here. I was wondering if you would put that up for me. Yeah, sure. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Ready to go? Mm-hmm. Hey, so how's it going with Kyle? What do you mean? Well, you two seem like you're hitting it off. Look, the kid needs help. I'm just being nice. He thinks he's a bad boy. Yes, I know the type. <laughs> Good evening, how are you? Hi, uh, glass of Cabernet, please. Hey, please, sir. Angry hey, order.
Expecting someone? No. Mm -hmm. right, I'll get it. Yes, can I help you? I'm sorry. Uh, I was looking for the photographer, Christy Ryan. I read her flyer. Yes, you have the right place. But really, this isn't the best time. My name is Harrison Reese. Uh, I'm an actor. I'm only in town for a short while. You looking for agents? I am, yes. Uh, Mr. Reese. Harrison. Harrison. Like I said, this isn't the best time. Maybe come back in a few days. Okay. Well, is tomorrow better? You know, I don't think that's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I look forward to it. You? Fantastic. Can't wait. Joe said that Dad killed his dad. Why would he say something like that? We're not going back. Mom, she was your best friend. I promised Joe that we wouldn't go back until they found him. Great, great. So first you tell me that my dad's a murderer and now you're putting me under house arrest? If this is your idea of a new life, I don't want any part of it. possibilities, things that we can do that would really help me stand out. Okay. Well, the basic package is $200 for six looks, so how does that sound? That sounds reasonable. Good. Do you do well as an actor? When I'm working, yes. But uh, lately, well, let's put it this way. I'd like to find some kind of temporary work while I'm here in town. Oh, what kind of work? Handyman. Carpentry. Yard work, chopping wood. But I don't do windows. <laughs> no way. 
I wish I had known that last week. I just hired Kyle to do yard work. And who might Kyle be? Kyle is a neighbor's son. Bummer. Yeah, that is too bad. I took that in college. But everywhere. Michael's fingerprints are on everything. It's like, it's like he wanted to get caught. Well, are you close to finding him, Joe? I mean, but what if he finds us? Do we need to leave the country? Yeah. You don't have to go anywhere. Right? Everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna find you. You hear me? I'm gonna find you. But until I do, I need you and Mary to lay low right now. That's easy for you to say. How's that easy for me to say, Chris? Hmm? Come on, tell me. Lizzie was my sister, you remember? Now you're not the only one who's in pain around here. I'm sorry, Joe. I'm just scared. It's not that I think that Michael's still there, but you cannot go back to Mystic right now, you hear me? Okay. It's better if you stay here, he doesn't know where you are. Are you sure about that? Look, I'm gonna be staying at the Winston Motel, it's on the 309. Only 10 minutes from here. Michael stepped one foot in this town. Believe me, I'm gonna be the first to know about it. Hold the reflector up just a tiny bit more. Um, just a little more like that. And there we go. Well, I was doing that. Well. But you've got the magic touch. <laughs> First time on the job? It's a little old to be an intern. Who are you calling on? Harrison, you're gonna love these. I sure hope so. Absolutely. Sorry. You two seem very close. Oh, Ben? Oh. No, no, we're just friends. I'm I'm single. So what do you think? Well something wrong? Can I come back tomorrow? Are they bad? No. No. They're actually quite amazing. Some of the best I've ever seen. Thanks. I just... I just want more. More? I can pay double. <laughs> well, good, but um, what exactly do you want uh, more of? It's just that every actor seems to do the studio thing. You know, maybe we could do something... Something outside. Natural light. Something that can help me really stand out from the crowd. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, natural light would be great. Fantastic. I'll call you to schedule. Okay. You better thank me in your Oscar speech. <laughs> <laughs> too much for you to deal with, honey. We have to be positive, okay? Lizzie would want us to be. Really miss her, Mom? Me too. Are you scared that Dad might just show up? Your dad is never gonna hurt us again, you hear me? That's 
Sancho's car pass a couple of times today. Yeah, he's a good watchdog. I'm, I'm happy he's out there. Yeah, me too. I love you. I love you too. So Kyle Murray here tells me you're doing some really good work. Really? Yeah. Seems like you're doing some wonderful things. I'm proud of you, boy. Thanks, Dad. Hunk, hunk, hunk. Sorry, stop touching. I just want to tell you everything. Are you doing your problem? Christy, I got it. Oh, and that damn machine. Like a temperamental like beef, huh? Yep. Here you go, buddy. Christy, it's not good to Thank you so much for today. We had a blast. Well, after what you've been through the last couple of days, it's the least I can do. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kyle! Yeah? Looks like our new man can really swing an axe there. Better step up your game. The competition is fierce. Not <laughs> He's not too worried. Thank you. Stay warm. Come on, Kyle. Stop your flirting. Go no boy. Do you think Michael had something to do with Ben's death? There's no evidence of that, Chris. Your room was a hit and run. Plain and simple, they happen all the time. Joe, come on. Come on what? What, what do you want me to tell you? Do you want me to tell you that Michael's responsible for the murder's death? Well, I can't tell you that. But it's, it's too coincidental. First Lizzie, and now, and now this. I mean, and something else happened the other night. What happened? Tell me. Well, we all went out to dinner, and I paid with my card. It was declined. But it turns out that particular account was completely, completely wiped out. Michael? Yes. All right. I'm looking at it. Thanks. You need any money in the meantime? No, I, I have my own separate account. We'll be all right. Sure. Yeah, thank you. I heard the news. I was worried about you and Mary. Yeah, I was worried about us, too. Uh, Chris, you want me to stay with you for a She'll be fine with me here. Excuse about me. You. Shouldn't you be out there doing your job? You know, I, I'm sorry. Have we met Harrison Reese? He's, he's, he's a client, Joe. He's a good guy. It's all right. Hey, Harrison Reese. Why don't you go back inside for a moment? <laughs> yes, it's none of your business. Look, officer... Detective. Okay, detective. Because of your negligence, a man is dead. A young boy is fatherless. And we got a killer out there on the road who, for all you know... Is behind the wheel at this very moment, ready to strike again. It's not just my business. 
That's everyone's business. Yeah, okay. And here's something, Chris. Christy, from all that you've told me, you need protection. Yeah, but I can't let you put your life on hold because of me. I wasn't planning on going to New York for another week or two. Honestly, I'm very afraid of my husband right now. He's a bad guy. He's very dangerous. I, I know. I know. I'm anxious all the time. I can't sleep hey, at night. Okay, calm down, all right? I wouldn't let anything happen to you or Mary. I promise. Come in. on that trail for 30 years. 30 years. Not a single thing goes wrong. The next thing I know, you and your mom come into my life. And... Kyle. Kyle, don't go. Gordy, hi. Hi, it's Christy Ryan. Um, you know... Yeah, at the book at the book signing, you told me about that uh, that offer, and I just was wondering if it was still if it was really Seattle uh, this Sunday. Um, yeah, I'm sure that would be fine. Can you send me an email with all the details? Okay. Well, me too, and it, it's great to talk to you too. Bye. a mistake, but you know you were in the spare bedroom, right? I apologize. I guess being here reminded me of my last marriage. I got caught in trance. Lost track of where I was. This is big deal. Uh, hey. Did I just hear screaming inside? Sounded like someone was celebrating. My headshots look that good? I got a job! <laughs> really? <laughs> Hope the ladies are hungry. What do I owe you? Are you kidding? Hey, Mary. Where's Kyle? I'm trying to call him. 
Um, he's visiting a friend. Well, he's been missing since yesterday. When you talk to him, tell him to get back here, okay? Mom, he's fine. He's visiting a friend. Mary, it's not fine. He is my responsibility at the moment. I expect to know where he is at all times. Okay, okay, okay. So this Kyle kid is going to be staying with us? Well, he has nowhere else to go right now. I don't think it's a very good idea. What? He's going through a lot right now. I think it's best if he seek out professional help. You know, maybe he needs to be in a new environment where he can have a fresh new beginning. Kyle is fine here with us. I'm just saying that Do you he... hear me? You know, you don't actually live here yet. Mary, enough. Fine. I have some news. I finally called Gordy Riser today, and I got a job. Where? A location. How about Seattle? Really, Mom? Really. Well, what about Kyle? Well, he can come, too. What about my headshots? Didn't forget about me, did you? Absolutely not. Good. So I don't want to lose my thunder. New York City has the best of the best. I need to be prepared. You're going to do great in New York City. Seattle and leave me here? Come with us. Hmm? Yeah. Of course. Thank you. You and your mom, you guys have done so much for me. I, I don't even know what to say at this point. Why don't you come take a break for a moment? Okay. <laughs> you know, for a struggling actor, you have the most positive attitude. <laughs> that would be smoke and mirrors. Actors, writers, artists like us, we just seem to perpetually exist in the shadows of illusion. Poe put it this way. All that we see and seem is but a dream within a dream. My husband used to say that. Sounds like an intelligent man. If I do say so myself. Michael was a lot of things. So, how about you, Harrison Reese? What's your story? My story? Yeah, <laughs> you've done so much for me, and I hardly know you at all. I'm not that interesting. No, I'm serious. Why are you doing so much for me? Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I've actually grown quite fond of you and Mary. You mean a lot to me. Really? Yep. You know, we have a lot more in common than you think. Like you, I also lost a friend too soon. I'm sorry. Can I ask what happened? She, uh... She was murdered. 
alone, defenseless. It's just like Lizzie. And I'll be damned if I let that happen to anyone else. his cream and he was rubbing it all over his face. That is ridiculous, Mary. This is a joke, right? No, Mom, I'm serious. Mary, look, I know that things have been hard for you, but enough is enough. You've got to stop. Mom, he broke into Kyle's house. He what? So it was you I saw last night. Well, I saw a light on and I thought maybe this Michael guy had come back. Well, thank you for protecting us. No problem. Well, what about the needles? He caught me. I'm a diabetic. Embarrassing as it is when I was your age, Mary, health was not a major concern of mine. Well, I just don't really understand why you're doing all this stuff outside in the freezing cold next to your car. I mean, that makes no sense. Look, Mary, what do you want me to tell you? The life of an actor, it's not very stable. I've just gotten used to living out of my car. It's an old habit, I guess. Okay, fine. Let's just drop it. Well, while you're on trial, what were you doing spying on Harrison? I wasn't. He was in Kyle's driveway. Or more specifically, how late were you spying on Harrison? Around one or two o'clock. Okay, can we just forget this, please? Sorry, Harrison. Don't worry about it. You should be alert to your surroundings, especially given recent circumstances. You always seem to be ready for action. That's what I like about you. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Can you get going? No, it's fine. Let's just 
I'm tired. I'm cold. Please, I really don't want to go home. Harrison really picked me up. Harrison? Yeah. Don't you think you're anything that I would do? No, I don't. Yeah, come on. Let's just go, alright? Okay, I'll put that in the I'll be there with you, sir, here. at the gift shop. Can you not, please? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Wait. Oh, you're in the hospital, okay? Your dedication to the craft's impressive. I was hoping to impress you. Looks like you're feeling better, Kyle. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, actually, uh, I feel much better, Christy. Thank you. Get real quick, get up. We're headed west as soon as they let you out of here. Good morning. Hey, Harrison. Where's Mom? Uh, 
she's in the studio. So are you excited to be getting out of here? Well, my boyfriend's in the hospital. I'm not really sure that excited's the best word. Boyfriend? I had no idea. You really remind me of somebody. Yeah? My father. He had your mannerisms, kind of. From what I hear, that's not a very good thing. No comment. Look, Mary. Everyone has their problems. Maybe you shouldn't be so hard on good old dad. Do you have any idea who you're talking about? Hey, come and eat breakfast. We'll find it later, okay? Come on, sit. Sit. Our time together is coming to an end. It'd be nice to have a nice breakfast for a change. I know you're not going to get it from me. <laughs> Isn't it a little early for a drink, Harrison? Yeah. What? Guy can't treat himself to a celebratory drink? Well, what exactly are we celebrating? Things are looking up. Pretty soon I'm going to be in New York, taking the town by storm. Thanks to you, Christy Ryan. And you shouldn't have any trouble getting work. Are we going to be hearing from you again, Harrison? I feel it in my bones. Coffee? Oh, thanks. Cheers. Take me. 
Yes. Yes, we did. And I think it did you good. You look much better today. What is it you think you heard? Uh, I... I thought I heard screaming. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Listen, um... Oh, I think that, um... Last night was probably a mistake. I don't believe that. Oh. <laughs> Where's Mary? I don't know. You want me to find her? Yeah. Okay. Here. Well, your hands are so cold. Uh, it's, it's nothing. Just outside doing some things. I, I can't do this right now. My stomach's upset. Okay. Put down the hatch in the next few minutes, okay? I'm gonna go take care of some work. I'll be back to check in, okay? Mm Where is Mary? 
I told you. Didn't I? Bitch, what do you want? What do I want? What do I want, Chrissy? So what about you? What do you want? I want you, and I want Mary, and I want us to be a family again. Please.
you're beautiful. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? You get to go to prom with an awesome girl. Hey, Dad, we're pretty excited about it all. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 